Welcome to Food Trends TV. I am everyday innovator Dana McCauley. Did you know that in the U.S. alone, $165 billion worth of food is wasted every year? It's true. And worldwide, we've got about 800 million people dealing with hunger issues. So it's awesome to see that there's this new trend that's emerging where influential celebrity chefs and documentary makers are highlighting this issue by telling us how to use food we would otherwise waste to make delicious meals. For instance, in New York, Dan Barber, the influential chef who is involved with Blue uh, Hill and the Stone Barns, he recently staged a pop-up called Wasted, where he invited celebrity chefs to cook with the foods they would otherwise toss out. So for instance, the chef from Eleven Madison Park took uh, lobster legs that uh, are not usually you know, served to his patrons and the stems from cauliflower and made this uh, cool dish and it was 15 bucks. Now in Europe this year, Expo uh, 2015 will happen in Milan and Chef Massimo Batura and a lot of uh, celebrity European chefs are doing something very similar. They'll take the food that would uh, get tossed out from the pavilions and turn it into to meals that will be offered to the poor or to anyone else who wants to come in and give them a try. What's awesome about this is that it's led to other types of movements. So we've got grocers like Woolworths in Australia and Loblaws here in Canada who are taking ugly looking fruits and vegetables that don't normally make uh, the grade A number one uh, list and they're packaging them and selling them at a discount as ugly food or naturally perfect food. So I think this is great because uh, it's giving people a chance to save some money and it's helping us not to waste a lot of energy growing things that we don't actually use. What do you think about this trend? Are you keen to buy some misshapen carrots and use them in your next soup or do you want picture perfect produce? Thanks for tuning in. Please hit the subscribe button before you leave so that you don't miss the next episode of Food Trends TV.